Now that we have those uh, downloaded, we can move on with the rest of our install here. So, let's take a look here. We've got our downloads. And we're going to jump over to the download folder with CD download. And let's remove these zip files. We don't need those. Previous project there. So we just have these uh, Debian files here. And we're going to follow the instructions here. In a different video series, of course, I talked about other ways we could install this, but uh, we're just looking at how we can in install this when we're following the instructions. We're going to do Android Pi here and um, and uh, build it just per the instructions. So we uh, sudo dpackage dash i, and I'm just going to do everything dot deb. And it's going to ask for my super secret squirrel password. And it's going to start installing that. Once it does, there's actually going to be some errors at the end. And that's why they have you fix missing dependencies right here with the sudo apt-get dash f install to, uh, to finish the job. So we're just going to paste that right in there. Let that run. And it actually has everything that it needs. So that's great. And now, well that's probably because while paused, I installed these. Oh, and there it looks like there's a new version of this package right here since I installed it just a little bit ago. Funny how that works out sometimes. But uh, since I already installed all those, it was good to go. Now let's update our Java. So one of the things you can do is you can actually have multiple versions of Java installed and then choose which one you want by doing this sudo update alternatives config Java which is pretty handy especially if you're going to build different versions of um, Android and you can keep the files for both and just choose which Java version you want to use beforehand. So number two here is going to change us to eight. Of course it was eight already, but uh, I'd just like to specify that on my own there. And of course the Java AC, same thing. We're going to pick number two, which is the Java eight right there. And so now if we do Java C dash version, you can see we're using eight. So this is really handy because you can switch back and forth. Um, of course we need to install the required packages which I did while we were waiting. Um, you can just drag select that, paste it in to your browser, or not your browser, your terminal, excuse me, and uh, it'll go ahead and install those packages. Uh, then there's some installation instructions for different versions of Ubuntu and for Macintoshes and um, any of those that you want to use or try. And the next step, of course, is to download the source. So, we got some work ahead of us here. So we're going to make our directory. We've seen this before, but it's great to just go over. And we make our directory bin, which I've already done because it exists right there. We're going to add that path to our path. We're going to download this bin repo. And we're going to chmod it or modify that file to be an A plus X so you can read it and execute it. So it actually becomes a program that's executable. And now we're ready to make our directory and install our system here. So let's make directory and we'll call this Android Pi. Because that's what we're making, right? Android Pi. Uh, you do have to set up your uh, git config global username. I'll say Alaska Linux user. 
and you can set up your email um, if you don't want them to know your email just put in that example one it'll work just fine and if you're grabbing the latest and greatest version which we're doing in this case uh, we don't have to fiddle around with choosing a branch we'll uh, just take the default because we're going to build the newest thing they've got So we just paste that in there. Now note, it is sometimes important to choose a branch um, when you're working with projects because the default may not be the, um, the newest one. For instance, I'm pretty sure in this case it's going to be Android R00 R3, but in some cases, for instance, somebody may choose a different one as the default branch. Android, I think, just goes with whatever is the latest. That's the one you're going to build. Um, if there's any doubt, you can always just use this branch option and choose the exact branch that you want. All right. Seems to be taking a little bit of time here. need it. There it goes. Seemed to be stuck there for a moment. So of course when you're setting up repo sync uh, or the repository, it's synchronizing what options and what objects it's supposed to download. And then we're going to type repo sync to actually download those objects. It's going to take it just a minute here to finish downloading. mostly a product of my really slow internet. Fifty four K, that's you know, we're actually doing pretty good today, huh? On the plus side, you don't have to worry. I won't make you sit to the entire repo sync while it's synchronizing, since I think that'll take more than, uh, oh, 11 hours, probably, for me. Look at our monitor here, and you can see you know, we're peaking at about... 70k. So for brevity, I will pause this video while this finishes and we will back after it's done. Let's see here. We're ready to choose color, yes. And we are ready to repo sync. So again, I do have really slow internet. So you could just type repo sync and it'll try to repo sync as fast as possible. In my case, I still need to be able to use the internet for other things. So I'm gonna give it a dash J2. So I'm giving it a thread number limit to say only download two things at a time. And that way, uh, I still have the option to use the internet for other things. For yourself, you probably have much faster internet than I do, and that's not a problem at all. And, and then you don't need to do that. But that's what I'm going to do here. And this is helpful if you have slow internet and still want to be able to use it to do other things while you're downloading, then uh, consider putting a, a dash J option on it and choosing a lower thread number. I think by default it does a dash J4. 
Anyways, that's going to uh, to download. I promise I'm not going to make you watch a video of that downloading forever. Once that downloads, uh, we'll be ready to move on to the next section, which is preparing to build. So we're going to go ahead and bring that page up, and we'll just have it uh, ready, because that's what we're going to do next. We'll see you on the flip side.